Hello students, welcome to in 5 minutes. We'll start with type 2 sums that is of interval of minus L to L. The fantastic thing is what? Only I'll be changing the interval but the sum which we took in minus pi to pi or uh, the starting the first sum, the same sum it will be. So I need to obtain the complex form of Fourier series for f of x that is equal to e raised to ax in minus l to l. So again the function is same, I am just changing the limit. So let's start with the solution. So I can define my f of x for n equal to minus infinity to infinity cn e raised to i n pi x divided by l. So now where cn is 1 divided by 2L minus L to L f of x into e raised to minus of i n pi x divided by L dx. So we need to work with L, L value because it is from minus L to L. So let's start finding Cn. So I write Cn is equal to 1 upon 2L minus L to L my f of x is e raised to ax into e raised to minus i n pi x by l dx now i can get here 1 upon 2 l minus l to l e raised to a minus i n pi by l x into dx so i get 1 upon 2 l after integrating this e raised to a minus i n pi by l x the whole divides with a minus i n pi by l where the limits are minus l to l and then i see here by putting this limits i get 1 upon 12 e raised to a minus i n pi by l in the place of x I'll be putting L minus e raised to minus of a minus i n pi by L into L and this whole gets divided with a minus i n pi by L. So now after solving this I can get I have here 1 upon 2 I multiply this L here denominator I write e raised to a n into now here e raised to minus of i n pi minus e raised to minus a n into e raised to i n pi and this whole gets divided with a l minus i n pi because l will be getting cancelled now Further, I get Cn as 1 upon 2, we know value of e raised to minus i n pi, e raised to i n pi is minus 1 raised to n. So I just write here minus 1 raised to n and then e raised to a l minus e raised to minus a l, e raised to a l minus e raised to minus a l, that's my term, this gets divided with a l minus i n pi so now here by taking this 2 with this term you can directly write as c n equal to minus 1 raised to n sine hyperbolic a l which whole gets divided by a l minus i n pi now again we know that uh, denominator is with complex term so I multiply and divide by its conjugate al plus i n pi whole divides by al minus i n pi so now the cn will be minus 1 raised to n sine hyperbolic al whole gets divided by a square l square that will be nothing but a square l square plus n square pi square and it multiplies to al plus here it is plus 
AL plus I N pi. So that's my CL which I got. So finally putting into series, I can get my series was e raised to ax that is equal to summation minus infinity to infinity and my cn is minus 1 raised to n sine hyperbolic al we got this multiplies to al plus i n pi and the whole it multiplies to e raised to i n pi x by l and this gets divided by a square l square plus n square and pi square so that that is the series which i got